Hey everyone, welcome back to JD Bots. This is the bot series on Microsoft Bot Framework SDK with a complete beginner friendly series. In this video, we are going to start with creating a bot with Bot Framework SDK. As we discussed in our last video, currently there are three programming languages that are supported C Sharp. JavaScript that are in active development and also Python. Java is being retired with a long term support ending in November 2023. So these three will be continue be, will continue to be supported. So we'll create a basic chatbot using Bot Framework SDK C Sharp templates. So these templates are using .NET Core 3.1 but we'll be upgrading them to .NET 8. So today we are going to use VS Code which is also known as Visual Studio Code. So first you need to download VS Code on your machine and then you can follow these steps to install the template. Okay. In our coming videos we'll be doing the same thing on the visual studio as well but this video will be focusing on vs code and in future videos we'll always be using visual studio for the development of our chatbots okay so let's start so this is a place where you can install vs code here you can install the vs code for your suitable operating system either windows mac or linux okay so once you have installed second thing is you need to install dotnet core sdk i would recommend you to install the latest version that is dotnet 8 that is long term support so based on your operating system, you can install the .NET 8 version, either Linux, Mac OS, Windows. Okay. Once you have installed, open VS Code, go to terminal, just type .NET double dash version and see the .NET version that you have. As I said, will be targeting .NET 8 version. So currently I have 8.0.203. If you install latest, that's absolutely fine. But uh, we should not go with the .NET 6 or .NET Core 3.1. So make sure you have .NET 8 version on your machine, either Mac, Windows or Linux. Okay, once you have these prerequisites, then you can go ahead and install these templates. So we have EchoBot, CoBot, and EmptyBot template available to be installed. So let's go ahead and install these templates. I'll just uh, make it full screen. Just copy paste these commands. Okay, we have the templates installed. Let's go back. And you can verify if your templates are installed or not. So I'll copy this command, go to VS Code. Let me clear this screen and paste it. Here you can list, you can see the list of all the templates that you have installed. Currently I have many of them. So I'll just verify if bot framework is available. So this is the one. Let me zoom. Okay. So I have bot framework, three of them. I guess this is core bot, echo bot, empty bot. Yeah, 
this is a one here's the name also written so this confirms that we have installed successfully our templates and when we are ready to build the bot okay so you can start with echo bot so let's copy the command So I'm just creating a directory. Okay. Currently this directory is empty. So now we can run this command. Just give a name of the bot. So we are using echo bot as the template. So let's give a name as echo bot. Okay, this is done. Let's see. We have a new directory CD echo bot and here we have all the projects right so let's open this in visual studio code this particular project so i'll just open it from here learning bot framework sdk echo bot and here is the project that we have okay so this is a project structure uh, we'll not be discussing the project structure as of now in VS Code. Uh, we'll be discussing this when we move to Visual Studio and we'll also discuss each and every file. What does it have and what's its functionality? But in this case, we are going to directly run this chatbot. So I'll just open a new terminal. And let's see what's the next command. Okay, it says run without debugging. Let's do that. Run, run without debugging. C sharp, echo bot. Okay, so we have the echo bot ready. So how you can test it? Just install the emulator. So from where you can install this bot framework emulator, let me quickly show you that. So just go to the re GitHub repo for the bot framework emulator, go to releases. And here, just choose the latest release and install based on your operating system, either Mac, Linux or Windows. For Windows, we have this one. Okay. All right. So let's open the bot. Enter the bot URL that is HTTP localhost 3978 slash API slash messages. If your bot is running on a different port number, you need to update, update that. For me, it's 3978. You can also copy the URL from here and click on connect and there we have the welcome message let's say hi and it is going to respond with months with the same message that i have returned that i have sent so it's an echo bot it returns me the same message with an echo in it so i'll just say hello that's all okay thanks everyone see you in the next one